Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Cup of Joe. It's your host, Joe Iko, the player. I got my coffee right here. Yes, I went to Dutch Bros again. Went to Dutch Bros again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the story. First off, man, my beard's covering it now, but I have a scar on my face. And this is a story of me going to the emergency room as a child. Second grade. Let me paint the picture for you. It's almost sunset. Both of my parents were at work. My grandpa was over at my house watching me. I was also very close to my neighbors. So with my grandpa and my neighbors, we were all outside. And you know, I never learned how to ride a bike. So it was second grade and uh, I got my first bike. It came with training wheels. I said, I don't want those. But my neighbor and everybody kind of insisted, just get used to it and then you could get rid of them. I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. But I knew I didn't want them. However, however, the training wheels were the main victim, if you will, in my trip to the ER. And I know you're asking yourself, but Joe, training wheels were meant to help you. How could they have caused you to go to the ER? Well, I guess that's why we're here, right? Sunset. Someday during the week. I don't remember the day. I'm not that old in my life yet where I'm like, it was Sunday at 2.37 on a warm afternoon. I'm not there yet. <clears throat> However, sunset, riding my bike down the street. And I was just going up and down the street. Up and down the street. And like, if you've ever ridden a bike with training wheels, you know how annoying it is. Like, it makes you feel like you have to lean onto the training wheel. But like, I was already good with balance. It's just like, I wasn't that good. It was still my first time. So it would just go like back and forth and back and forth. And uh, once I got it down, I was just cruising up and down the street. No problem. I felt cool. I felt like the man. So what does any kid do when you feel like you're the man and you're cool? You take it to the next level. And what is that? jumping off the curb not just any curb you guys know driveways how they do this thing but like on this part of the driveway it's like a little mini ramp little baby ramp if you will yeah i was going straight off of that straight off of that because i was like oh this is like a jump use that momentum and then jump off this is way too happy of a beat for this story. I'm rewinding it. So then I'm getting comfortable I'm going off these curbs. I'm having a grand old time until I jump off this one curb. And it was like, you know, driveway, driveway, driveway. However, one of them went driveway fire hydrant driveway yep. Yep. I choose to go off of that curb when I jumped off my left training wheel did not it got stuck on the curb which then yanked me off of the bike Heading straight for that fire hydrant. And thank God 
that I was screaming. Because that fire hydrant went right through my cheek. Right through my cheek. Big asshole. Big asshole. All I remember is seeing stars. Legit, I saw stars for the first time. And I'm laying on the ground looking up at the sky. And I got everybody standing over me looking down at me. And I just like didn't want to move. I was like looking at everybody. And everybody's faces were like, oh, nah, bro, you're cooked. Until I saw my grandpa's face. Papa Ron walked up. And what did he say, man? He's like, he says something like, looks like you got a shiner. He was all happy about it. He was smiling. He was legit smiling. And at that time, I had an aunt that worked at the emergency room. And he goes, come on. Let's go see your aunt. I'll chill about it. Everybody else was like, ah, ah. and thank God it was him taking me, bro. Because honestly, like, I just remember as he was getting the car ready, the neighbors were giving me a, a, a big ass kitchen towel. What are they, uh, like a washcloth basically? They gave me one and I just put it first off. Actually, I didn't even tell you when, when, when they like, when I sat up and everyone was looking around me, my cheek where that fire hydrant went through, it was just on fire, on fire. So what do you do anytime anything's on fire in your mouth? Yeah, you use your tongue and go right to the source. Bruh, my tongue shot out my cheek. The whole tongue. Oh my God, that feeling is insane. That feeling was insane. And I was just like, then my stomach dropped and I was like, what is going on? And everybody didn't want me to look at it because it was like gnarly. But then yeah, they give me that kitchen towel and I'm holding it on my face like this. And before the car got started and like, brought to me the entire towel was full of blood and they had to get me another towel gushing gushing should have maybe said a warning at the beginning it's fine um and so i grabbed that other towel get in my grandpa's car and he either told me to lean my head out the window or i wanted to because i didn't want to get blood everywhere because my shirt was already bloody as hell too and so I'm leaning out the window and I just remember this dude just playing the music he used to play like some oldies singing and I'm looking at myself in the like in the in the mirror, you know, on the side of the car, just looking at myself as my head's hanging out the window, man. And I'm like, oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. I wasn't freaking out though. I think it's because he wasn't freaking out. And then um, yeah, we ended up at the hospital. And like, I just remember walking into the emergency room, waiting room, like a little kid full of blood on my t-shirt, full bloody like towel on my face. And um, everybody in the waiting room was like, and I was like, oh man, am I gonna die? <laughs> and uh, so I get rushed to the back immediately. And my aunt came out and she was like, oh my God, yeah, let's go. And so, they sit me down and, uh, you know, they're doing just all the thing, put me in a gown, taking whatever. And I just remember my grandpa saying to the nurse, he was like, can I stitch him up? And the nurse was like, uh, and he's like, I want to do it. And then the nurse looks at me. She's like, do you want him to do it? And I was like, no, <laughs> like, what the hell? No. <laughs> And so, um, he's like, all right. And then they put this like square sheet over my face that just had like another square cut out of it. And I got like 16 stitches in my face. And the nurse was telling me, she's like, you know, it's a good thing. Uh, you, she's like, you were probably screaming and it's a good thing that you were screaming because none of your teeth got damaged. You could have lost 
a lot of teeth on this. And I was like, hey, when life gives you lemons, right? I don't know if that works there, but when in Rome, that doesn't work there either. All right. Um, you know, blessing in disguise. That one works. A blessing in disguise. I was like, well, you know, could be worse. I could have this hole in my cheek and be missing like nine teeth. I'd be having to go to the ER to the dentist. That would be a nightmare. Um, so yeah, I get the 16 stitches done. Wasn't crying. They were like, man, you, you handled that like a champ. And, uh, yeah, I just remember, um, you know, like I said, both of my parents were working and, uh, they called my mom at the restaurant she was at and she was like the only server working. So she couldn't get, she couldn't leave. Um, but my dad met there. And um, went back home and they were like, no solid food for like a week or something like that. Dude, no stitches felt crazy in my mouth. Stitches felt crazy, bro. I felt like, I don't even know how to explain it, bro. I was just feeling it the whole way home and I was like, oh man, this sucks. And then I just remember uh, getting home and uh, my dad made me some chicken noodle soup. I was sitting there eating it and he was helping me because like, dude, it was like, I was still in pain. And then they gave me like, I'm pretty sure they gave me like numbing things. So I couldn't even feel my mouth, bro. I was like missing my mouth and shit. And so my dad was helping me eat some soup. And I just remember my mom came in the door and she looked at me and I looked at her. And I'm mouthful of soup. And then we just, we just both start bawling while we're staring at each other. And I was like, well, I didn't cry the whole time. And then I saw my mom and then just like the look on her face. I was like, lost it, started bawling. And she's like, I'm so sorry I couldn't be there. I don't know what I really said, but um, yeah, the next morning I went to school. Cause like, it's not like I was in like that much pain. It was like sore after them, after the fact. And maybe I took a day off from school. I'm not, I'm, I can't entirely remember. But what I do remember is when I did go back to school, I was that guy. I was that guy. My teacher was like, you know, Joseph went to the hospital. He's got stitches. Everybody be chill. And I walked in, everyone was like, whoa. I was like, yeah. They're like, how many did you get? I was like, 16. I had all the babes looking at me. All the babes looking at me. Oh my God, second grade. Oh me. Walked out of school that day. I got on my bike that caused the problem. Everyone's like, didn't you fall off your bike? I was like, yeah. I got on. You don't pedal like this, but I pedaled away. The sun wasn't setting, but it was in my mind. The sun was setting in my mind. I was like, man, could be worse. Thank God it wasn't. And still till today, the inside of my cheek still kind of feels a little crazy. It's not cool, but I mean, like, thank God it's just my teeth, bro. I mean, thank God it wasn't my teeth, bro. And, um, yeah. You can't really see it, but I guarantee you if I shave my beard, it kind of looks like a like a birthmark. Just a little scar. Um, but yeah, man, second grade. That was the first time I went to the emergency room. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that little story. Shout out to the players in the Players Club. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you have any questions that you think might start a story, feel free to comment that down below. Or any other comments about the video, I would love to read as well. This is The Player, signing off.